Welcome back to Exploration Outer Space. A meteorite is a fragment of rock that has survived the trip through Earth's atmosphere and landed on our planet. It's a hunk of rock that has quite the amazing story behind it. And the best person to tell its story is a guy known as the Meteorite Hunter. It's been estimated that every year, thousands of small meteorites find their way through our atmosphere and land on Earth's surface. And in many cases, if you find a meteorite, it's yours to keep, but not always. Today, we're at the White Stallion Ranch in Tucson, Arizona, a training ground where people can find space rocks. I'm here with Jeff Notkin, the meteorite hunter. Now, Jeff, can you tell me a little bit about what you do? Emily, I have one of the world's more unusual jobs. I travel the surface of our planet looking for material that's fallen here from space in other words, meteorites. And I've brought a few examples to show you. Wonderful, so what do we have here? I'm gonna start with this because this represents the most abundant type of meteorite that we find on Earth. But if we test it with a powerful magnet. Oh wow, oh, it attracts it. Indeed. Now why is that? This meteorite contains about 20 or 25% iron, which is more than most terrestrial rocks. Mm -hmm. This is an indicator because almost all meteorites contain iron. Okay. Emily, all of these meteorites are from the asteroid belt except one, and I've brought something very special to show you, just in case no one's ever given you a piece of the moon. This is from the moon. Now, how did this end up on Earth? It's important to say that this is not an Apollo sample. It's illegal for private citizens to own moon rocks that came back as part of the moon missions. This is actually a piece of lunar rock that was blasted off the surface of the moon by another impact and landed here as a meteorite. Jeff brought us some metal detectors. So now we're going on a hunt for meteorites. So one of the techniques I use is not just searching in the obvious open places, but searching under bushes, because meteorites can fall anywhere. And if people have hunted the ground before, they will typically go to the easiest to get to places. If one finds a meteorite, there are rules and laws about whether they can keep it. Here in the United States, space rocks belong to the person who owns the land upon which they fell. And if they fall on federal land, they belong to the Smithsonian Institution. Other countries have different regulations. Values of meteorites are all across the board. You could buy a specimen for a child for $5, or you could spend tens of thousands of dollars or more on a museum-worthy specimen. That's it, nice and close to the, that's a good move. Yeah, scrape it a little. Do that again. Did you hear that? <gasps> that's good. Did I just find a meteorite? Well, we'll see. It's a target, so we're gonna dig it. Okay. We're gonna find out. That's it. Okay, now I want you to run the magnet through that pile of dirt vigorously like this. That's a strong magnet and see if anything sticks. <gasps> I think something's adhering. Is it sticking it's really sticking. strongly? It's sticking really strongly. Pull it off. Let's have a look. <laughs> that is an iron meteorite from the asteroid belt. Cool. And, uh, in this project, it's finders keepers. Wait, do I actually get to keep it? Yeah, you do. What? <laughs> That's awesome. It's not just for television. That's for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I want you to have a nice memento that in your day That makes me want to cry. That's oh, so cool. Oh, you sweet cool. thing. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. 